So from Jebra Fauche, genius alert. Want to get back at your dad because he voted for Trump? Well, this lady's got some ideas, or I think it's a lady. I don't know. You can't tell anymore, but uh, I think you will find this person incredibly irritating. Let's take a look. Well, Trump, do you pumpkin? I have a great idea. Show up to Thanksgiving with a shaved head and see what happens. You get extra points if you consider yourself a daughter of an American dad. Ooh, that would light his ass up, wouldn't it, babe? So if that American dad's, like American conservative dad's daughter is woke, he's he's already been put through hell by her. He's already seen it all. So when she shows up with a shaved head for dinner, Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas or whatever, he's not going to be surprised. He's going to go, oh, yeah, okay, more of the same. She's still nuts. Still hasn't grown up. Still hasn't grown up yet. All right, whatever. It's not going to be a big shock. What a weird thing. Like, that's how narcissistic these people are. Like, they're so narcissistic that they think that their fashion choices affect the world. Like, everybody. Look, if you're a woke idiot, if you're a woke retard, your family already knows it. They've known it for a long time, and they already don't like you. Right? They all, they're they already deeply regretful of the whole situation. So showing up with a shaved head is not going to be any big surprise. They're just going to go, ah, whatever. Maybe next year she'll grow up. But let's watch. Because American dads have never really been given the room to adequately express themselves, it makes them... Uh, here we go. The bullshit about uh, only white men uh, have a voice. That's it. That's only people in society and everybody else is endlessly oppressed and blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. She doesn't seem that oppressed to me. Seems like she's able to do just whatever the hell she wants and nothing happens. She could just do whatever she wants. That's good. In a free society, you should be able to. Maybe she should have some perspective, a little bit of perspective. Maybe go take a trip to Iran or Saudi Arabia, somewhere like that. Somewhere like that. Maybe that would give her a bit of perspective. Maybe go hang out with the Taliban for a while. <laughs> go spend a weekend with the Taliban. See how that goes. See how oppressive your society really is on those American dads. Just how mean they really are. Real mad when you do for yourself. Even grumpier when you... What is this thing about making everybody mad? Pissing everybody off. P pissing everybody else off. Especially your family members. Right? The people you're supposed to love. Like, what is this obsession they have with making them mad, pissing everybody off? It's just, it's just nasty. It's just mean. Right? There's nothing good about this. Where's all that empathy we're supposed to, they're supposed to have? Where's all this empathy we keep hearing about? It's just being a, a being a bitch, just being a terrible person, just a nasty, spiteful, mean, selfish, narcissistic person. I don't see how they fit all that into their 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 view of themselves as the right side of history and 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 perfect empathy and all of that. I don't really get it. You do things that are outside of what is acceptable to do with your appearance, like shaving your head. Yeah, Sinead O'Connor did that like 40 years ago. Nobody gives a shit. What is wrong with you? <laughs> What is wrong with these people? What fantasy world are these people living in? Other dad mad options would include getting a tattoo on your face or your neck or even your hands. Yeah, that's great advice. Get a tattoo on your face to hurt your family. Great advice. These are wonderful people. They should be running the world, shouldn't they? These are the people who should be setting every standard in society. Maybe. Ooh, or a facial piercing. That'll really set him off. I love doing shit like that so much. I even want to help you on your dad mad journey, cutie. If you're in my area between now and... Why do these people, why are they so obsessed with ruining people's relationships with their families, the people that love them? I guess it's the commie thing. I guess it's the dirty, filthy commie strategy of alienating people from the people who actually really care about them so that they'll trust these awful people who don't, who want to lead them down the primrose path to uh, poverty and misery. 
in the first of the year and you would like to shave your head before you go home for the holidays, I'll do it for you for free. I think this is your sign to be unapologetically you. This Nobody's stopping you from doing anything. Just shut up. Just shut up. You're living in a fantasy world. You're not a hero, right? You're not a hero. If, if the ladies on The View, okay, would absolutely wholeheartedly agree with every single one of your opinions, right? If the ever host on CNN is totally on board with everything you say, you're not the resistance. You're not, you're not a rebel, right? You're not raging against the machine. You're raging on behalf of the machine. You are the machine. You're a faceless cog in the machine. You're just a, an indoctrinated, useful idiot. There's no joy. Where is all the, aren't these supposed to be the joy people? Where's all the joy here? I just see spitefulness, nastiness, meanness. It's the worst advice you could possibly give to somebody. Intentionally try and alienate the people who love you the most. And then join our cult, our weird cult that brings nothing to you but, again, poverty and misery and depression and probably addiction. I don't, know, I don't like it. I don't see the appeal in this at all. It just seems to be, like, super negative. And also, nobody gives a shit if you shave your fucking head. Nobody cares. That's not edgy anymore. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.